You're listening to the Ready or Not podcast with me, Mabel Golden. We're here to share the stories of those living intentionally and building a life they love so that you can be inspired to do the same. In this episode, I am sat down with Marie Engi, who I actually approached on Instagram to be in this podcast, and I'm very glad she agreed. She creates content all about slow living here in Dubai, and that really caught my attention because I thought that was so different and unique for someone to share that kind of lifestyle here in Dubai. It's not something you come across often. So I thought that would be really interesting for you all listening to get an understanding of what that actually means. And she gives some lovely definitions of that in the podcast. So I hope you enjoy it. Hi, everyone. And you're listening to the Ready or Not podcast with Mabel Golden. And today I'm with Marie Engi, who I found on Instagram through her slow living content and she was one of the first people on my list for this podcast to interview about her experience building a life that she loves here in the UAE. So thank you for coming on the podcast Marie. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure to be here and have this opportunity to be able to speak about my life and everything about how I pursued life in uh, Dubai. You're so welcome. We're really, really excited to hear about your experience. And one of the things that I really want to come across on this podcast is to hear from such a variety of people. And I think you have a really unique take on living the Dubai life, which we're going to get more into in this episode. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to kick it off with um, talking about what we and me and you have in common, which is that we've moved to Dubai. Yes. So and I moved in 2018. You were just remind me when you uh, uh, when you moved over. 2017, yes. Okay, okay. So April 2017. Okay. Also, side note, don't you think it goes so quickly? Like the time so fast. The the first year is like nothing. Yeah. It literally goes. And so I quickly. still feel like still so fresh. Yeah. It doesn't feel like I, I've been living here for so long. It's because it keeps changing. They keep yeah. they keep opening new areas and building new places. Everywhere. And it's, 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 it's just crazy. like growing so fast. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's still feeling like it's a new city. Yeah. It it's, doesn't it's, feel. I, I love that about Dubai. Yeah. Yeah. So you made the decision to move to the UAE and did you feel like it was like a snap decision or was it something you were planning for ages or, or how, how was that process for you? So um, I used to live in Ireland for 10 years um, I finished university there and I had uh, my partner here and um, but at that time I had opportunity to also move to Singapore I've done interviews I've passed through the interviews I was so ready to move to Singapore when I had to make a decision to either go to Singapore or come to Dubai and because of my partner I decided to come to Dubai okay and that was the main reason why I moved to here. I, actually, the only reason. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't uh, like a snap decision, but it was like an invitation. Let's yeah, put this yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it, it was it was something you wanted to do yeah, actively. And, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And how was it actually, you know, once you made that decision, were you more, would you say more anxious or more excited? Like, where did you stand on that scale? Because obviously moving continent that's a that's a big jump for anyone yeah whether you whether it's your dream destination or not that's there's got to be some level, big change right yeah. there's got to be some level of anxieties there can you tell me a bit about where you were on that on that so scale I was very excited um by that time because I was ready to live Dublin yeah. <laughs> I was really ready. really <laughs> um I was ready for so, a change yeah, yeah I was so looking forward to summer all year to yeah. go to the beach as often as I could mm-hmm. I was very excited uh of course some parts of me were I uh, was a little bit scared because it's normal to be scared when you're stepping out of your comfort zone living in, in like in another country for 10 years and then moving to another country it is a little bit scary but I was also it wasn't like a scary thing that made me stop me it actually made me want to try it yeah yeah it's like I'm gonna do it yeah and I know everything is gonna fall into place that's and a really good yeah. mindset to have yeah. going into it and yeah. I think yeah it's so important to kind of go in with that mindset that I can handle it um because yeah it's it's super people I think are very conscious of how different the the lifestyles are you know when moving somewhere so I think that's super important yeah I was like 
a little bit of both, but uh, I think more excited. I was okay. really, really looking forward to a new beginning as well. Also, it's it's so refreshing to start something new in life. That's great that I think you, when you moved, you were so excited because I definitely can relate to that. I had that as well, that in fact, I think I was pretty much blinded by excitement. It wasn't until afterwards I kind of realized what a what a you know big change it was it was kind of like I was just riding that excitement until I made the move and then it wasn't until I looked back and I thought whoa hang on that was a big change yeah like yeah. wasn't I nervous but in the moment no yeah. I was just so excited because you're not moving houses you're moving country yeah right is a big it, change. it is it is yeah and I think so obviously everybody that's moving country has some ideas about what it's going to be like maybe you know someone that's moved maybe you've just seen maybe you've, you follow some you know your favorite influencers that live yeah. there or maybe you're you know um just hearing about it from other people's experience but you can't know for sure until you get there and I think yeah. there's a it, with Dubai especially there's such a big disconnect between what people think the lifestyle is like here and versus what it actually is like here. yeah which brings us perfectly on to this topic of slow living now I'm not gonna actually pretend that I'm an expert in slow living I'd love to hand this over to you if you can <laughs> if you can give us like a definition because I'm sure there's probably people listening that maybe don't even know the term or maybe like me you've just been scrolling on TikTok and you find some content and you yeah. think that's an interesting you know concept like what what does that actually mean um, well, I'm also not an expert because I've, you know, I'm learning. In this room, learning, you're the expert. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I can say for myself, um, slow living is actually slowing down your life. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you do things with more, being more conscious, being more present at the moment. Mm -hmm. I think one of the most important things about slow living, it's like being present in the moment, being content with what you have um like practices like everyday practices that uh, will help you slow your life as a journaling as um going spend time in the nature uh change making a, like little changes in your life and adjusting um for example like going to the supermarket and have and appreciate the fact that you are in the supermarket choosing your fruits, you know, instead of yeah. like just ordering from, I don't know, any app that you can order. But wow, actually, I love that as an example, yeah. actually, especially for Here. Dubai, because yeah. yeah, you're so right. Like every little people think of tasks as mundane. It's all yeah. like optimized to be super easy and quick and fast. And, yeah. and I think it's also interesting that you mentioned nature in the definition of slow living, because well I think it's it depends obviously everybody's got their own um, preferences on what where their ideal climate is but you know it's a bit of a concrete jungle here it's a it's you know it can be a bit um kind of busy city life yeah. but you know it can be hard to find I know when I go home to the UK I'm always like wow grass. so much green like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow fresh air wow grass but yeah so I think that's interesting and probably why I don't know if you agree, but probably why people don't necessarily associate Dubai with slow living. They just see yeah. it as this like super fast paced, like super, yeah, like out of touch kind of out yeah. of touch with nature, especially, but also just with those like day to day tasks. It's all super speedy. Yeah. Um, I think I think if you have a like close look to what like the natural part of Dubai you're going to find a lot of things that is actually outside of like the concrete jungle. Because mm -hmm. I live in Jumeirah. Uh, I moved to Jumeirah in last November and uh, I don't have a car. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, I don't yeah. have a car. I don't yeah. drive. I'm still in the process to get a drive license. I actually don't drive either. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And uh, I bike everywhere. Really? Oh, I love like, that. Okay, as I if I was to... living in Netherlands, wow. but I'm not. I'm in Jumeirah. Okay. And, I love that. Uh, and I bike everywhere and uh, I spend a lot of time in in Jumeirah streets finding exciting things. Like I, I take plants from a house from the Jumeirah streets mm. instead of like sometimes buying. Um, yeah, Dubai has like this this part that is very busy, very, you know, full of information, but that is a very quiet side of Dubai as well. And uh, it's pretty amazing to 
to have like both. You、mm-hmm. just have to like look closely and、uh, be open for it. Like there is so many things that you can adapt into your life、mm-hmm. that you can have this this kind of slow life in、mm-hmm. Dubai. As、uh, waking up early, going to the beach、uh, before everyone, it's, it's so silent. Like、yeah. it's so calming. It's、um, completely different. Yeah, and you see one or two people like passing by or walking or running, and、uh, you hear the trees. I know it sounds like a, but it, it sounds airy fairy.、Yeah. But it's 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 exactly what you said. It's、yeah. it's. If you're open to it, then you'll see it yeah, and you'll notice it.、Definitely. But I think what's really interesting is how you per- how did you personally almost become open to it? Like, when did that start in your life? Was it something when you moved, you were instantly looking for that, or was it more of a kind of gradual thing? Where did it? When did it start, and where did it come from? Because I think, from my experience. It's not that obvious. It's not that.、Yeah. It's it's kind of difficult to find. That、hit. it takes time. It, it does, takes time.、Yeah. Um, it always started in 2017. I was living here already. I just moved here and I went to a trip to Nepal to for, to spend around 13 days in the Himalayas. Wow. And, okay.、Uh, when I was in the Himalayas, I learned a lot with the silence of the mountains because very silence there. It's wow, you know、yeah. the people there are very remote. They are very far from the city. And you see the way they live,、uh, how slow they live, because they don't like they need Sherpas to go to the mountains. The further you go inside of the Himalayas, you realize that、uh, the more they need Sherpas to come and bring food supplies、wow. to. It's like completely different life, and、yeah. that's when I went back here. I realized that I was living so fast. Everything I was like. Like the city, the city is growing so fast,、mm-hmm. and we are going the same path with the city.、Mm-hmm. And then I had a, like two weeks thinking about it, and I was like, I really want to start to making change from what I saw and what I learned from those thirteen days in the Himalayas because it was so peaceful. It was like people there they live so different of、uh, what we live. Of course, we live in a city; it's impossible to. Have that kind of life, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can learn and adapt what they do、can、a take, little bit to our yeah, life, kind of yeah. taking the inspirations from、yeah. it and and applying it to our situation. And I love that. And I think one of the key messages that I want to promote in in the Ready or Not podcast is that sometimes it takes seeing and learning about other people's experiences to. Be inspired, and you know sometimes you don't really know what's possible until you go out and hear about it and hear other people's experiences. So that's、yeah. kind of it's kind of how you've、um, taken that, that inspiration and applied it to、yeah. to Dubai, which is such a kind of on paper it's such a kind of polar opposite, isn't it?、Yeah. Like you, you、yeah. can literally, I think you can watch and see what people do, and you can create your own, and you can adapt to things that you love. You yeah, know? like. Not always what I do is gonna work for you. Not always the kind of life that I have is gonna work for you. But you can actually take whatever you think it's good for you, and you adapt into your life. And as much as you're happy, and you know, it's what you want, like from your heart. I think that's what is important.、Mm, yeah, yeah, and and that's when you're in that kind of. I don't know what you'd call that state, but such a much more comfortable kind of flow. Living state, happy and satisfied with、yeah. with you know finding your community. But let's quickly talk about、um, what it's like when you've moved here and you haven't found that you know. And it's I don't know if there was maybe a period for you because there certainly was for me when you know you've you've moved and you've made the decision and and like I said I was riding that excitement and that and that <laughs> that wave and then it kind of hits you that this is real and、yeah. it's not just the, like a the game of life or whatever like it's real、um, and then you know it's it is difficult to find your to find your people and to find your the lifestyle you want to live was there ever a point where you felt like you were almost living the Dubai life that that didn't serve you and it wasn't where you wanted to be. Uh, definitely yes, yeah. yeah.、Um, for me, it was a little bit hard in the beginning because、um, I had a I I felt like I, I had to do things that I wasn't 
I wasn't being myself mm -hmm. to be able to fit uh, because I couldn't the places that I uh, that I use it to go or clothes that I w I needed to wear to go to these places wasn't me. Mm. I, I like what I'm wearing right now. That's what I like. I like yeah, to be yeah. comfortable. Yeah. I don't like much makeup. I yeah. like uh, loose clothes. And I was going <laughs> to say, I'm sure anyone listening, because I know there's going to be a lot listening that are on the brink of making their move and, you know, they're, they're planning maybe yeah. moving to Dubai or to maybe somewhere else. And I'm sure they're probably wondering what kind of, um, you know, what kind of things that people expect of them when they move. And I think, you yeah. know, oftentimes it is, let's go, let's go, yeah for drinks and let's do that every single night especially in dubai yeah. like let's it's go so to, easy to let's do go that. for ladies night where there's unlimited everything for free and it's a, it does feel like that's kind of the way that things are done like this is how mm -hmm. how to make friends in this city when yeah it can feel like that is the only way almost but not really like well for me it wasn't like the friends that i made it was actually through like cafes and mm. uh hanging out with fun like more like mm. people that do art uh do paintings and yeah. because i'm very connected to that yeah see that's and, yeah. i think what people sometimes as well i mean this is not dubai specific but more just kind of life specific is that it's kind of like you need to find those elements to your life that you love to do yeah. to bond with people over right because sometimes and i i can think of so many people that I've spoken to about their move is like they haven't really found their thing so they don't really bother with it and then mm -hmm. it's like well you know you need to go somewhere where you've got similar in you know people with similar yeah, interests definitely. yeah like, and you need to make like genuine connection to people yeah. right you need to feel like you want to be part of like that group of you actually want to be part you know yeah. not only just like go out for like drinks or a night out you yeah, actually yeah. want to connect to them like invite them to your house when you want to yes exactly and I think another thing as well as that is like those hobbies that you mentioned you can actually talk to people while you're doing yeah. them right and that's something that's so important is you're not so, really going to so make important. genuine friendships and you know when we think of our like best best friends that's something you know you want to be able to talk to them and actually be able to yeah like, to, to, to communicate yeah. with them properly so that you can yeah it's, build that relationship yeah right? it's uh i think that is um that is like a lot of environments here and that is i believe through what i've been living lately that is a lot of tribes in dubai we don't see it i so love much. i love that you call them tribes <laughs> yeah that's yeah that's i cool. don't know if i'm so, like i don't know if i call them tribes but that's how i call it yeah yeah, yeah. and um so i see so i live nearby kite surf mm -hmm. beach and mm -hmm. i see like a lot of people that goes to the kite surf and that's kind of like surfers try yeah 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 and then i have like my friends that is kind of like arts and uh kind of like have like the same lifestyle that I do mm -hmm. and that is the people that uh loves like going out beach clubs and so there's different drives yeah. and you can you can find like that is so many others yeah and you can find the moms as well that is like a huge community of moms yeah, yeah and you can find yours and find what makes you like feel more comfortable with like with the friends that you make yeah yeah I love that I love I love that you just need to find your tribe and it sounds there's that cheesy phrase that's probably in somebody's like little photo frame yeah. on their bedroom <laughs> wall or something but it's like your vibe attracts your tribe Definitely. I'm not going to pretend I made that up I'm sure everybody's heard but that, that so I can't true. claim that to be mine but <laughs> so what does that actually mean well it means you've got to kind of start to be who you want to be first because yeah. then you'll you know if you're if you're being someone that you don't really want to be and you're not really vibing with then Definitely. that's going to put you in the wrong tribe. You really need to be. I think it's uh, that's the thing that happened to me. I wasn't being myself. Really? When I, I mean, I was being myself, but yeah. I, you know, I was getting out of my way to mm -hmm. to try. I was trying so hard. So mm -hmm. the, I think the perfect word. I was trying too hard to fit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, which is so easily done when yeah. you when you've just moved and yeah. you're like. Yeah, it's, it's you normal. Want it to be perfect, yeah. and it's it's normal. I think it it happens to a lot of people, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. That's when I realized that I didn't want to try to fit anymore. I want to yeah. find people like me. Yeah, and I just opened myself. I started to do the things that I love. I think it's so important to 
you always need to do things that you love, like yeah. things that you feel comfortable with and uh, things is going to unfold mm -hmm. like naturally. Mm -hmm. Like it's so you attract your vibes. Yeah. So people it's it's like people recognize you. Yeah. They recognize that you are open. Mm -hmm. And once they recognize that they are open, they start to approach you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I think another thing actually that I just thought of is cuz I'm thinking you don't need to have just one tribe. I'm wondering if no. anybody listening is yeah. thinking like, I don't I don't know. Like that's fine no, as no. well, right? Yeah. You can definitely vibe with different tribes. And I love that yeah. because I think that's also very Dubai is having like m different ways to to live your best Dubai life and definitely and yeah. live your yeah, do what you love. I I mean, I love, you know, biking around Jumeirah is low living, but I love a glass of wine and yeah, with, like, yeah. going to a bar. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, lose everything, dance like crazy. For I love sure. that too, yeah. For sure, yeah. And uh, I think the most important thing, be open for new experiences. Mm. I think it's so important once you live here or when you move here, be open for everything. Yeah one of the biggest tips I could give to anyone, but we're going to get on to more tips okay. anyway. <laughs> so, okay. When we're building this dream life and when we're trying to be the vibe that we want to attract, you know, when we're talking about, you know, putting ourselves in the situations with the people we want to bring into our life, mm -hmm. how do you set boundaries to build a life that feels authentic to you? And I want, mm -hmm. I want us to focus here on how we can, you know, give some advice on, kind of finding those boundaries and what they would be there was people that uh, i'm still in touch with then of course but we just didn't have the same interests so mm -hmm. it was hard to to establish connection because mm -hmm. i i'm like i'm a day person that mm -hmm. people were like night people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it was just uh you know but uh, i created that for myself is there was no problem uh with then that was me because yeah. I that's the kind of lifestyle that I like and that's when I realized that uh, I needed to to do changes to be who I want to be here and uh, to have the life that uh, I want to have here so definitely like adapting myself to new people finding new people finding the people that I connect yeah. more it was uh one of the the like I would say like one of the boundaries that I I have created. So on the Ready or Not podcast, one of the other key messages that I really want to get across to everybody listening and watching is that once you're stepping outside of your comfort zone and you're and you're making those big steps, whether it is moving country or even making the decision to start a TikTok and put out some <laughs> content yeah. or, or whatever it is that you're going to do and you're it's out of your comfort zone a little bit, getting through that and seeing how it pays off. How has stepping outside of your comfort zone paid off for you like what does what benefits have you got from kind of pushing yourself through that I think uh once you step out of your comfort zone you have you make so much place for growth and I think it's one of the best things like when you your knowledge that you were you know you're actually growing because that's what happens when you like you are you do everything different you do different things that you're not used to and that when you see you start to see like you're better bettering yourself yeah, you're not yeah. you're not the person that you use it to be and uh i think for me i just it's i would say like i live in peace yeah that's really and, nice and uh, i think that's how it's paying off i i have i I would say like I don't have everything but I'm like I'm very content with what I have I don't need to have everything to be content with but um I am very happy uh where I am uh what I'm doing at the moment I'm also really happy and uh for a very long time I wanted to feel like I'm calm mm -hmm. my life is calm mm -hmm. and uh, that's how I feel right now so I know it's paying off but uh, it took like it, it takes a long it's a long process yeah. to it's a not a, always easy to step out of your comfort zone. Uh, you see a lot of things that you don't want to see about yourself because uh, that's the process when you're growing. You see a lot of things that are, you don't want to see. Yeah. Um, but it's a, it's a beautiful process. Yeah. It's um, it's it's I think everyone needs to go through that. Yeah. And it pays off. It definitely does. Yeah. Because uh people have like different outcome mine i feel peace but 
other people will feel like happy and or like they are more successful mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I think mine's like I just feel calm <laughs> that's yeah. really nice and I think that's such a I love that you've kind of achieved that goal you know and, and how I can see how like important that is for you even for your content as well and just as a side note make sure everybody goes to follow I'll put the link in the podcast description <laughs> um so I think um, I would love for us to touch on a few tips and kind of advice for people that are listening who would be inspired by your your story. And I love that I've um, been able to talk to you today to to show this this other lifestyle in Dubai that really that I, I hope to see a lot more of from people, you know, and, and finding their true authentic selves here in this amazing city that is full, full of inspiration and all these different tribes. Um, so let's talk about some, some tips maybe that you've got for people that are maybe <laughs> on that edge. Maybe they're thinking, maybe this is you listening. Maybe you're thinking of making the move, but you're worried about, maybe you're worried about not finding your tribe or, 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 or that feeling of, uncom you know, being in that, um, out of that comfort zone what's what's your biggest tip would you say I would say feel scared but do it anyways yes that's how I felt uh, I think that's what most of the people feel but don't let it stop you mm -hmm. just come here do your thing and uh, there will be so many times that are you gonna feel like you're not doing the right thing for yourself or for your life but you're gonna find yourself and uh, Dubai is a place for full of opportunities and it's a place that you can find every like you find every nationality here you find every kind of people here and uh, it's just amazing that you can have this life here and um, I think the most uh, I would say uh, feel the fear but do it anyways and step out of your comfort zone and try it and I always remember if you want to succeed and you, with your decisions, but if not, you always have other options. But uh, the most important is like try it because to be honest, I never heard about anybody that came here. It's like, oh no, I'm moving away. I, I, I mean, I'm sure it happens, that, that but is, this is but such yeah. a, th that's, I love that you brought that up because I actually always say that to people. <laughs> I'm like, just try it. Yeah. And you know, what's the worst that can happen? Because, and that is exactly what you said. You know, you're feeling that fear. You're doing it anyway. You know, if you decide it's not for you, that's fine. Like, that's okay. But, you know, you've put yourself there and you've then, you're kind of at that next stage. Yeah, and, that yeah. is like so many, like so many other places to go that is mm -hmm. better. Like I after living here since 2017 now I can say that um, for a very long time I didn't see it but I see it and I I don't imagine myself living somewhere else for like at least five years really but that's how much I learned loving yeah, here yeah. yeah wow that's it really took, it nice took, it took time but uh, I, yeah. I I love it here yeah. yeah I mean I love it here as well <laughs> I have <laughs> such a like I I think I've just recently been traveling and when I when I come back I had that feeling of like oh, home it's just so much appreciation for it I'm just like yeah Yay. so that's why I love to sit sit yeah. here and talk to people about our experiences <laughs> living here so um so and yeah you definitely like when you come here um just be open I think is also very important to say yeah yeah it's be it's having that mindset that's being open to yeah. to find that um it's lifestyle a, that you want yeah. isn't it yeah it's really like when you open uh I really believe when you open people sense it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, you you send the energy mm -hmm. and the energy comes back to you and people yeah. actually I that happened to me many times that people approach me mm -hmm. really yeah like and I I, I do that like yeah, some yeah. people I uh that it was a time that I used it to think is this people gonna they're gonna think they're crazy or something yeah. because i was like hey how are you um like at the beach yeah if i yeah. see some girl like i love like at the gym when i see a girl practicing yoga i smile and i try to make friends yeah yeah and uh, i think it's so important to be open because people really feel it mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. feel that you're open and they feel more comfortable to to come and talk to you and yeah. i think this is like a big like big thing that's gonna set yeah. you up for success if anybody yeah yeah listening that's a really good good tip that's really gonna yeah. set you up for for attracting the people that you want into yes. into your Dubai life um 
Well, Marie, it's been <laughs> so, so nice to hear about your experience living in Dubai. And I really, really appreciate um, you sitting down and, and sharing your experience with everyone listening. Like I said, I'm going to put the link um, to Marie's Instagram in the description so that you can go and check out some of her slow living content. Um, but thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you being here with me today. Um, thank you so much. It was such a pleasure. And uh, it was so good to talk a little bit about uh, my life and... Uh, about Dubai as well and I'm so glad I was invited and yes thank you so much. (laughs)